it's Marion and today I'm doing an impromptu video on a, the Dutch baby. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of that but it is a very large pancake or crepe or whatever you want to call it. So what the ingredients are is flour and I have found this wonderful flour, einkorn, and it's all it's a natural flour, it's not processed and it's not bleached or bromated or any of that. So I've got that. I've got my monk fruit sugar, which is, you know, a natural sugar. I've got my homemade vanilla that my daughter gave me us for Christmas. And it's a vanilla, bean, and vodka. I've got some wonderful spice that was sent to us by our friends in the Netherlands. Thank you so much, Kat, Len, and um, uh, I forgot her. <laughs> I forgot her name. Anyway, that's that, and some nutmeg, and I've got three eggs go getting to room temperature by putting them in warm water. So as soon as the bacon in the oven is finished, then I'm going to get started on this. I also have my. A cast iron fry pan that's going to go in the oven to uh, get nice and hot and what I'm putting all this in is my small blender and I'm hoping that this is gonna work okay all right stay tuned we'll be right back so I've got the uh, cast iron fry pan in the oven to heat it up so once that comes out, we will douse it with about a third of a cup of butter all around it. And then we're going to mix up the ingredients. So stay tuned. Okay, since I don't have whole milk, I do have some coconut milk. And I do have some heavy whipping cream. So I'm going to combine that in this little half a cup here and hope for the best. Okay, while the um, cast iron is in the oven, we are going to add to these, eggs should be room temperature by the way, and so should the milk. So we're gonna add the milk to the eggs and the flour. And hopefully this container is gonna be big enough to mix it all, okay. Then we are going to sprinkle with uh, some nutmeg and I am going to put in a fourth of a cup of nutmeg, I mean a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg and I'm just going to add in some of my vanilla, not measuring, but it's about a teaspoon and then I'm going to put in quarter of a teaspoon of this seasoning that we got from our friends in the Netherlands. If I can get it open. You know, I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to dab it in there. And if you, of course, you probably don't have this stuff from the Netherlands, but you can use cinnamon if you desire. Oh, and I am going to put a one teaspoon of the monk fruit in there also. And we're gonna hope for the best. Get this here. Get the top on here. And here we go. seem to have blended up very nicely. There is some along the side, so what I'm going to do is scrape that down. Be right back. Okay, that's mixed up. We are going to bring out our frying pan now. Don't forget to wear gloves when you do this. The sucker is going to be hot. And then we're going to take good 
chunk of butter, probably about a quarter of a cup, and I guess I should let you see this. Okay, now you can see the frying pan. It's got a nice big, lots of butter in there. And if you want the recipe to this, I'll link it below, or you can go on YouTube and Google um, Dutch Baby Pancake. Pour it right in the middle. Now you may see some black specks in there, but that's from the vanilla, the vanilla bean. All right, we're gonna put it in the oven now at about 450. Eighteen to twenty minutes. And there you have it. I'll be right back with the finished product. Okay, so I thought I would take this opportunity to sit down and have a chit chat. Uh -oh. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his buggy shirt on. He hasn't had that on for a while. Well, it's mighty colorful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, the reason I'm looking like a hag this morning is because I've had this thing going on in my throat, and it's not that I've been sick or anything. It's just that it's kind of hard to talk, and uh, I get laryngitis towards the end of the evening. But anyway, uh, we are here in a different uh, park, and um, we're not sure how we feel about it yet, right? Right. <laughs> but anyway. It's not bad. No, it's not. It's very busy. It's a busy, busy park with lots of uh, campsites. It's hundreds and hundreds of campsites. That's how mm -hmm. I feel about it anyway. It's enormous, yeah. It is. It really is. Um, but it's going to be a beautiful day today. So we're going to get out of here and do some uh, outside work. Uh, we're going to put up our... What is that called? The tent? Possibly. What is it called though? It's a screen tent. Screen tent. That's it. So that's what we're going to do. And um, But I just got the urge to uh, make this Dutch baby pancake thing because my friend Ruth Ann, it was all her fault. She's the one that uh, made it and it looks so good. So And it's really easy to throw together if you have a bigger kitchen. Um, even though we have a small kitchen here, it was not that difficult. And I had already made some bacon, so that's um, on the side. So, anyway, if you're new to my channel, I welcome you. Thank you for stopping by. And if you're one of my tried and trues, I always thank you too. And um, I hope that you keep coming back. Um, I do have a giveaway going, so check that um video the one before this one i forgot what i named it what was i what did i name it something and a give oh get ready with me and a giveaway um and it's a couple of eyeshadow palettes they're really 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 pretty i just don't use them and i hate having them just hang around waiting for me to use it which i will never probably so anyway that's that so all right stay tuned for the finished product on this dutch baby it will be out in a flash <laughs> okay, you are seeing it with us for the first time. Here we, 13 seconds, and then we're opening that oven door right there. And we're going to bring out the Dutch baby. Two, one, zero. Oh my God. God, whoa, <laughs> will you look at that? Okay, this is pretty darn hot. It looks like a mountain range. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, babe. All right, turn that oven off right now. Whew. All right, let me... Let me put the camera up this way. Let's sit down here. So, 
You saw the finished product. How beautiful was that? We can't wait to taste it. So we are going to get that fixed and put on our plate with some bacon, and then we'll be back with the taste test. Hang on. Okay, now is the moment of truth, and I think did you say it was a little doughy in the in the it's a little doughy on the inside but yeah. i think it might be all right that might just be how it it's supposed how it cooks. to be i don't know let's try a taste here here we go dip it in some syrup it's really good very good mm -hmm. and um i think a, a little cooked a little bit longer would have been okay yeah, it seems the more towards the middle it gets, it's mm. a little bit doughier. Mm -hmm. But yeah. yeah, it's really good. That's what the bottom looks like. So it could have cooked a little bit longer. All right. Well, that's it on the... Uh, you experienced a first-time baking episode with me. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And hit that little bell and you'll be uh, notified when I upload another video. Most of all, don't forget to be kind to one another. It is a rough world out there. See you in my next video. Love you all. Bye, guys. Very delicious. <laughs>